Okay, I want to put up a tweet that was issued by a Democratic congresswoman from New York, uh, basically calling out gun owners. It reads, I'm just going to say it. NRA and Dana Lash are quickly becoming domestic security threats under President Trump. We can't ignore that. That from Kathleen Rice, who happens to sit on the Homeland Security Committee. I am instantly calling for her removal from the Homeland Security Committee and then voters to go to the ballot box and get her removed from office because she is now waging war on gun owners. She's, she's taking her, her anti-American divisive rhetoric and really sticking it to us. And I'm afraid, Bill, that she will use her position on this committee to, one, investigate gun owners, put gun owners on watch lists. She could subpoena gun owners to, to testify. She could label the NRA, as, as, or try to, as a terrorist organization if she, if she wanted. And so this woman is now dangerous on that committee. She's shown her bias. She needs to be removed. I couldn't agree more. You expect these kind of things from, from hysterical people, uh, usually from New York and, and, and Hollywood, but that's their right to, to speak. And we've been dealing with this for as long as we've been in this game. But when somebody like this is on the Homeland Security uh, Council of some kind, and they are basically taking the position that five million of the most law-abiding citizens in America are a terror threat and a threat to the security of the nation, then that person does not need to be sitting on the National Security Board under any circumstances. Under any circumstances, Grant, even if it was not, even if she wasn't so wrong about the politics, just the statement means there's something psychologically unbalanced and delusional about that woman. Yeah. She really has got a serious mental issue. We were talking. Does she regret issuing that tweet? My guess is she does not regret it. I emailed her for comment, uh, one of her press people. I have not heard back from them. I'm sure I will not hear comment uh, from them. But this, this is where we stand now in America. They try to divide us. It will not work. And we will not sit back and, and take this as she issues these kind of harsh words. And by the way, once again, it comes back once again. Dana Lash mentioned by name. What did Dana Lash do? Did Dana Lash stand on top of a rampart with an AR-15 in her hand and say, we got to gun down liberals? Dana Lash's video showed the left being the left. That's all it did. It simply showed the lawlessness and the violence and the intimidation of the left. So this idea that Dana Lash and the NRA are somehow some kind of calling for terrorist action, all we're doing is showing that the actual violence in this country is committed by the left on a daily basis. And that's why they're so bloody petrified. Well, the line is a clenched fist of truth. That is words. And that's what we are issuing here on this program and, and Dana and you and all of us at NRA TV.